Open a PowerShell using the Run as Administrator option. Define path to the Windows Server 2025 ISO. Create temp directory for new image. Mount the ISO. Driver letter. Copy files to temporary new image folder. Split and copy install.vim. Get the USB drive you want to use. Then copy the disk number. Get the right USB drive, you will need to change the number. Clean the USB drive, this will remove everything. Convert disk to GPT. Create partition primary in format to FAT32. Copy files to USB. Dismount the ISO. After that, you can safely remove the USB drive and use it to boot your server from. Open a PowerShell using the Run as Administrator option. Define path to the Windows Server 2025 ISO. Get the USB drive you want to use.
in between these sheets. Copy the friendly name. Get the right USB drive. You will need to change the friendly name. We're both losing control. Control. Clean the USB drive, this will remove everything. Convert disk to MBR. Create partition primary in format to NTFS. Set partition to active. Mount the ISO. Driver letter. Copy files to USB. Dismount the ISO. After completing these steps, you may safely eject the USB drive and use it to boot your server for the installation of Windows Server 2025. For example you can use this media to install it on a physical server or even on an Intel Nuke for Windows Server Labs. Yeah, it's true.